With the completion and delivery of special counsel Robert Mueller's report containing his findings in the investigation into Russian interference in the 2016 elections and the Trump campaign's role in it, congressional Democrats have been loudly advocating to get a copy of the full report from Attorney General William Barr before there is any opportunity for President Trump and his cohorts to influence the redacted summary of the report that is all that Barr is required to deliver by law. House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jerry Nadler laid out the Democratic Party line in his tweet that attached a copy of the official letter sent by Barr to himself and the other senior members of both parties presiding over congressional judiciary committees. While most of the reaction to the conclusion of Mueller's investigation from the Republican side of the aisle consisted of gloating over the announcement that no further indictments were expected from the special counsel's office at this time, gloating that may be premature given that Mueller has handed off any materials that were not directly pertinent to the core areas that he was tasked with investigating to other federal and state prosecutors, at least one Republican senator joined his Democratic colleagues in calling for Attorney General Barr to make the report public. NBC News producer Frank Thorpe v. shared Senator Chuck Grassley's, or Iowa, statement in response to the special counsel's completion of his probe. While Senator Grassley states a motivation far different than that of his Democratic counterparts, clearing the president of the accusations of collusion with Russia, rather than determining exactly what was investigated and what conclusions and assumptions were made during the course of the inquiry, the fact that he is calling for Barr to quickly release Mueller's findings to both Congress and the public at least provides the pressure on Barr to comply with the urgent pleas for full disclosure a pattern of bipartisanship that has thus far eluded any congressional response to the investigation. All eyes are on Attorney General Barr now to see how he decides to handle the report's findings. Since he stated in his letter to the Judiciary Committee that he may be in a position to advise you of the special counsel's principal conclusions, as soon as this weekend, stay close to your favorite news sources to hear whatever details the Attorney General deems publicly releasable and the inevitable speculation about what he may be holding back from general consumption.